So I like to create dispatches from ecstatic realms. I'm interested in offering people a sense of a lived experience. I want people to have an experience of knowledge by acquaintance when they encounter my work, not just knowledge by experience. It's like the painter Rothko who said that people who weep before his paintings are having the same kind of ecstatic weeping that he had when he painted the painting. In other words, what the artist wants to do is transmit his inner life. And so people often ask me about these ecstatic realms. What is the felt experience in the realms of the timeless? What does it feel like when you are in the mytho poetic, right? The Greeks make the distinction between Kronos and Kairos. Kronos is mechanized cognition, life by the clock, tethered to time. But Kairos is the mythopoetic and the timeless. And one of the qualities of the timeless, one of the, one of the characteristics of these domains is heightened qualitative intensity. You are in the midst of it, compelled into a kind of immersion or an aesthetic contemplation you barely understand nor even desire. There's always an element of surprise when all of a sudden you have stargated to the sacred. And the moving from the ordinary world into the realm of the ecstatic is very much, again, a kind of stargating that is akin to a reverse dolly shot of extended duration. Now, if you've seen a reverse dolly shot in cinema, it's meant to show a threshold crossing of awareness when a character is going from one state of consciousness to another. Something is shifting. How do you show that visually? Well, the reverse dolly shot does it by zooming in with the camera while the dolly that's holding the camera is pulling away at the same time, which creates this feeling of like, like there is a shift from one mode to another mode. And this new mode, of course, is the mode of transformation, the mode of the ecstatic, the mode of heightened qualitative intensity. It's akin to hitting the, 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 it's akin to hitting the sustain pedal on the piano, right? It's akin to the moment in which the strumming guitar kicks into gear, when the song fucking grabs you and takes hold of you. And mapping these transitions from modes of being from Kronos to Kairos, and then mapping the mythopoetic terrain is the purpose for my being and the reason for my work. I, I want to, to map those new domains. I want to map the pathways to those new domains. I want to communicate through an experience of knowledge by acquaintance. I want to make you essentially directly acquainted with the transition from the transactional to the transcendent. I want to map for you the felt experience of the shift from Kronos to Kairos, from the everyday to the mythopoetic, from the ordinary to the archetypal. This is my raison d'être. Para eso yo estoy aquí, para transmitir y comunicar vibracionalmente, to give you the download, so to speak, and also to give myself the download, for I am also a member of my own audience. I too like to be a witness to these reflections and these transmissions thereafter, for they show me who I am when I'm not there. These videos show me who I am when I'm not there. They allow me to witness myself when the inner critic has shifted and when I'm in the dance, right? When I'm in the dance, I get to see myself in the ecstatic and that, my friends, becomes a somatic memory. These videos seen afterwards are integration for me. They are cognitive repatterning digital transmissions. They are glimpses of what was essentially an open heart surgery of the psyche, which is every time you submit and you have an experience of the realms beyond. So, yeah, that's why I do what I do. I want to give words to the undescribable. I want to map the ineffable. I want to provide 
an actual taste, right? An actual download of the mythopoetic and the ecstatic. I want to show you directly the felt experience of the moments that take our breath away. The transitory enchanted moments that come to define our lives. The experiences of awe. Experiences of such perceptual expansion. Such mental vastness that your fucking models of the world have to make room for a new accommodation, right? Baseline reality dissolves and the new reality starts to emerge in its pixelating wake. One that is pregnant with realization and visioneering and imagination and humility and wow. So... I hope that you have received me, truly, and um, I am so grateful for the opportunity to show myself and point the way, my way, right, because everybody can find their own way, but my way, and if you find resonance with that, and if you know what it's like to stargate to the mythic and if you too have had moments that take your breath away and if you too have been inside that reverse dolly shot moment of extended duration where it's like whoa i've slip streamed into the sacred and here i am and i'm here again and as jamie wheel says i remember what i forgot that's where we heal my friends that's where 